For example, let's take a look at the flood defenses in the Netherlands, where one third of the country is below sea level, and another third is at risk of flooding. They've built infrastructure that works with water and manages the rising sea levels. They do this by designing facilities like polders. Polders are bits of land below sea level that have been reasserted from a body of water. It's always fully or partially surrounded by an embankment to keep the water out that comes from either the sea or a river. These polders offer a network of drainage canals and pumps to manage water levels by disposing of excess water and running water back to the sea or river to make sure that the water doesn't run over land. Polders can be used to protect houses, farms and factories and thus are used a lot around the country. The Netherlands also built dams and utilized sand dunes to create ways to stay dry in their swampy land. This shows that there are ways in which we can observe nature and live alongside it. So, the bad news is, behind its ethereal beauty, our moon hides a power that, if just so combined, is set to overwhelm humanity's coastal settlements. However, there's always a bit of good news too, as knowledge is a power of its own. By understanding our plight, we can look for solutions, both among already existing ideas and ways forward that have yet to be discovered.